When it comes to population, roughly 1,600 people is all that separates Linden from St. Johnsbury. The two towns make up 43% of Caledonia County. This is a far cry from 1791 when St. Johnsbury was twice the size of Linden. Now the towns are competing to be king of the county. Video journalist Julia Rose reports on the constant struggle of Linden's continuous growth and St. Johnsbury's sliding decline. For 120 years, St. Johnsbury and Linden have competed on the football field. They've also gone head to head to be number one economically and in population. St. Johnsbury had a head start, but Linden is closing in. In 1791, Linden had only a total of 59 people in the town, which grew into 542 residents in the year 1800. That number continued to grow throughout the 1900s and into the 2000s. By 2010, 5,098 181 people lived in Linden. In the next town over, St. Johnsbury had a different past when it came to their residential history. Beginning again in 1791, just five years after they were founded, St. Johnsbury had 143 people. Their residents increased until 1930 when they had the greatest amount of people living in the town, 9,696. From there, the number decreased going into the year 2000. And in 2010, they had only 7,603 people. Now the town of Linden can be combined into two parts, or a box within a box. You have the town of Linden and the village of Lindenville. Both work together. And for this study, the number of residents have been combined. The same is true for here. You have St. Johnsbury Center, the village of St. Johnsbury, and East St. Johnsbury Village, with a few more here and there. But together, they all make up the town of St. Johnsbury. To begin, we start with Linden, founded in 1780, when people slowly started moving to the town. One of the big things is in 19, the 1960s, the college obviously changed from more or less a teaching college into a full full-scale college that had a lot of offering. More teachers have uh, moved to the area uh, to cover all the different uh, offerings that LSC has. In the late 80s, early 90s, into the 2000s, um, Linden had a lot of subdivisions that were developed, um, that houses were built in, ready to buy, ready to own, so we had a lot of um, people move in. Back in 2000, the town believed they would outpass St. Johnsbury with residents, but that has not happened yet. Linden still has areas outside the village open for development, which explains the increase in Linden residents. Over in St. Johnsbury, there isn't as much land to build on, which may not be the only factor in its decline. Meet 24-year-old Michelle Farnham, a now resident of Linden. Before moving to this town, she lived in St. Johnsbury, where she works. But a couple times when people, I said, hey, you know, I live in St. Johnsbury, like, ooh, I'm, I'm sorry, and I was just like, I'm not, I'm not having a bad experience. Farnham still works in St. Johnsbury and likes the community. I liked how it was, it, there was more to do in St. Johnsbury, just more places like to walk around, to see, like I really like big old buildings and the way they look, like I could just like appreciate the town more. There is more to do in St. Johnsbury with all the different attractions, yet people still want to leave. Um, well, 80 years ago, St. Johnsbury had a lot better of a reputation, and now St. Johnsbury is known for poverty and homelessness and low income. And, you know, it, it's, just, it's just a switch in the total mindset of way that people think about the town. Facilities like the Methadone Clinic, prison, and the work camp have given the town a stigma to some. Oh, there, there certainly is. Um, and it's, you know, St. Johnsbury does have a lot of the services. We do support a lot of the services for the county. Um, it falls on our shoulders. Um, we know that. Um, we're always managing it. We're trying to uh, plan our communities in, in the best way we can. We're getting, you know, recently we had the warming shelter open up. Both the clinic and warming shelter have since moved out of the downtown area. I mean, the services are inevitable. We know it's going to happen. They're always going to be there. Uh, but the community works pretty well to manage that in a way that it doesn't affect our downtown. So what does this mean for the future of this town? Population immediately and things aren't going to happen overnight, but there's, there's a, like I said, there's a lot of opportunity here. Opportunity that St. Johnsbury hopes will keep it bigger than its longtime football rival, Linden. Reporting for the Vermont Center for Community Journalism, I'm Julia Rose in the Northeast Kingdom.
Growth in the 1990s had Linden officials expecting their town to be larger than St. Johnsbury in 2015. A year later, they're still 2600 short of reaching that goal.